Big Money Bound TV, RRT Posse YouTube. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I release scheduled videos every Monday, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, but I also release some unscheduled videos throughout the week. Now, if you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you. Today's video, y'all know I'm real big on like shopping at PacSun, but as of lately, I've been heavily shopping at Route 21. So today's video, I'm gonna give y'all a haul about my most recent purchases, which are majority from Route 21, but also got some sneakers in there. I got some pants, some polo trucks. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna get into all that, what I got and what I did and how I did it. All you gotta do is keep watching. Just keep watching. What we represent, man? Money bound. Money bound. Money bound. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to start this thing off with the tennis shoes, with the sneakers I bought for my family. We're going to go from the little size to the biggest size, because you know, I take care of my kids, because you know, I love the kids. I love the kids. Starting off with my little one. We starting off with my son. He currently wears a size 6C, but I bought him a 7C, because as I've said before in recent videos, I always stay ahead on like my son's clothing size and his shoe size, so... Once he get to that size, he already got everything he need. And if I ever had like any bumps in the road, any bruises, I already know whatever my son is going to next, he got everything he need in that clothes department and that shoe department. So I ain't gonna worry about, okay, how, how I'm gonna get this for my boy? Blah, blah. He got that, I just gotta worry about the next level. So right now, he got size 7C and size 8C. I don't really gotta start shopping with shoes until you get to seven, I can start buying nine, I'm already eight up, so, you know. I don't see some things, people have it, people lose it. So I want to make sure if anything was to ever happen dramatically crazy, I know legit good. So I caught them to the see. These ain't the cement threes. These ain't the cement threes. But they're not the um, see, I will say that they're not the traditional cement threes, but these are the original retro cement threes. And if you can see them, they have like a little fade at the bottom. And with all the retro, like the classic first edition retro Jordans, they have Nike on the back. It's supposed to say Nike Air. But I guess they just didn't put the Air this time. But the original first pairs that came out had Nike Air on the back. So it's like you got the fade going around and you got the all white. This is a nice look. I give my son like some sweatpants. He put these on. That's very nice. You got the Jordan logo right here and you got the red. You better see what I'm saying. I don't want you to be saying stuff and you can't see me. You got the red insides, and then you got the nice, I love how the threes are made at the bottom. Yeah, my favorite pair of threes is the threes with the elephant print, the elephant print on the inside, on this part right here. Those came out back when I was in high school. My homeboy Meat had a pair of them, his big bro looked out for them. That was long before I could afford Jordan, before I had a pair of Jordans. Them things looked so hard, I was just praying and wishing. But now I'm in position, Hey, God real. So that's what my son took care of little dog. <laughs> Am I spoiling him? That's my son, all right? You spoil him, that's my son. Second pair I got, I'm gonna show you Joey Joe kicks. I picked these up. I picked both pair up while I was in Las Vegas. I was out on vacation, a guy's trip, but I'm still thinking about my family, my son and my lady. She also wears a size seven, but in women, you feel me? Seven in women. The low top dunks. We've been real big on the dunk swag lately. It's like I'm doing Air Force Ones and I'm doing like retro low top dunks when I can get my hand on them. But we just doing that. Because the dunks is also like a pair of forces to me as well. But these right here. You can't lie to me, man. These is nice. Like I may do a solo video about these themselves for the kicks I got, Jody. These is like it's fleece material. Like fleece material, these are like very exclusive. Like, I've never seen nobody with these on. Like, this is one of the pair of shoes that when you have these on, you know that nobody else gonna be wearing the same shoes that you're wearing. Uh, look at check out the bottom. It's like in a minty green, minty green, and a minty white. Tic tac green and tic tac white with a little forest green on the Nike check. These are like real nice fleece all the way through. This is like a real deal purchase, real deal pickup. Should I do a solo video talking about these? Just let me know and I go more in depth and in detail on the shoe. 
So that's little Jody right there. Let's get into me now. Now we got, oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Let's go. Let me show you the shoes I got for myself. Size 10, and this was the display shoe. Because when they come to like these dunks, I found these in the outlet, like the outlet mall, like Nike outlet. So it's like the last pair on the, on the wall for 110, like no rank, no like, what they call it, man? No resale, like when they do the sneaker resale, how they resell sneakers, they resell like the dunk lows. They put like an extra price on it, you feel me? This was like the retail factory price, original price. I got these for 110. 110 right here. What they call these, man? Mm. Y'all got me on there? Ah. 110. I saw these in Vegas for 280. I got them for 110. I call them the Sprites. I call them Sprite. And I wear a size nine and a half. But in, I wear nine and a half. Like that's my perfect fit. But I can go a size 10. I just gotta like double up on my socks, which I'm used to, I double up on my socks anyway. So like I, like I mentioned before, I used to be a hooper, like real doing heavy, like playing sports, playing sports. And you gotta wear two pair of socks to buy an extra cushion in for your feet. So whenever I wear one pair of socks, it feel weird. So I still wear two pair to this day. So this is gonna be a good fit. This is a great pickup. I had no intentions of going into the outlet mall to get these, but when I seen this in the outlet mall, I'm like, whoa, hold on. A pair of low top dunks that's fresh, that just came out for the original retail price. When you see that, that's something you don't pass up on. Like, I'm on Air Force Ones and I'm on dunks. The, the, the dunks are like a Air Force One skate shoe. It's like you doing, you real chill, you vibing, but it's like, it's simple, but it's so nice and like exclusive. Like, dunks are like becoming real, real hard to get, man. It's, it's getting out of hand, so I got these dunks. I call them Sprites. They're real nice, and I like them. I like them on top, on, on top of the exclusives. Not a lot of people going to have these, and you got like a nice little tee, a nice pair of jeans or shorts. You ain't trying too hard, but everybody know you're fresh. That's cool. This right here is going to be like my most expensive purchase. I'm heavy on the... um. I got the polo track suit. So here go the pants right here. They got a back pocket, one back pocket right there. They got cuff bottoms. This pair here has a cuff bottom. The drawstring up top. The logo to the left. I see that logo, make sure y'all got me. Logo to the left. With the matching hoodie. I ain't mean to drop down. With the matching halfway, like, it's a halfway hood. Feel me? So they the, got a little screen that goes down halfway. The logo on the left chest. The leather piece for the zip. The zip leather piece right here. And this one right here, this is like, this is like, um, this is when I'm going, I'm going like, wearing this right here, I'm getting back to the old me. Cause back like real heavy and like, man, Real heavy in like 2017, 2018. I was real big on like the, just the track suits. Nike track suits, polo track suits with the fresh Air Force Ones. I was just wearing, I said, that's just how I was staying fresh and wearing it everywhere. Like no matter where I was going, I was wearing that, man. Polo track suits, Nike, Nike track suits. It's like I'm being super fresh, but it's like I'm not even like really, I'm not even really trying hard, but I'm just super fresh. It was to the point, like, man, I was just getting tired of, I was making so much money, I was working so much, I was getting tired of having like, didn't go to the mall. And put in time and effort to really like find fits this piece that piece these shoes you know what give me the matching tracksuit the fresh ones i'm fresh and i got money i'm getting paid so what's up so that's why i say i'm going back to the old me because i'm back on that same mentality i got money i'm getting paid i'm fresh like bro what's and i love when it's like a a like a lounge club like a party and this and, that, and everybody they best dressed this trying to be that and i come here wearing this here tracksuit with my fresh ones on and on i'm paid I just, I just love doing that, but majority of the clubs don't let me in when I'm wearing like tracksuits. But it's like, I'm fresh, and they got people that's coming out of the club that don't look half as decent as I look in my tracksuit, but it's like, oh, they, they just don't want no sweatpants inside the club. But bro, I'm super fresh, like, y'all dog got on shorts with fishermen hooks and whatever, man. So I got this tracksuit. Also got another tracksuit. This one here's like got a little bit more flair to it. 
You got the red logo on the left, the white stripe going down the side. Got the white stripe going down the side. The drawstrings in front. Got a zip pocket in the back. And more like a, it's, they call them like a loose bottom. This, this pair has a loose bottom. That's a little loose. But I call it the bell bottoms because you can like, it has a zip on it. Well, you can like spread it out and open it up, you feel me? So I call it like a bell bottom. You can get kind of jiggy with it. It's like a bell bottom bottom. So I call them bell bottoms. I wore, I wore both of these, um, both of these track suits were worn in Las Vegas. You know, the weather was like a little, a little windy, a little chilly. So I was still like fresh. And I was wearing my polo track suit with the matching top. All the way zip down, but I was wearing it. I was wearing it all the way up. Or like with just a little, just a little slit right there. I wanted, I wanted to still keep my collar pop. I wanted my collar to be pop. Down the side, the red logo, and the pockets at the bottom. I wore this in Vegas. It was a nice little fit with the fresh pair of Air Force Ones. I was real fresh, man. And I was chilling, you feel me? Like, it ain't like, it ain't take too much effort. It just took, it took some money because for both fits, both tops came out to $138 for the top alone, $138 for the top and $146 for the pants for each one. So both of these ran me around like shit, bro. Like $600. I know, but I know, I know, I know, I didn't know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, but you know, sometimes, you know, shit, I only got no excuse for that, man. That's a lot of money. But you know, you gotta stay fresh. Like, you going, I was going out of, out of state, I was going to Las Vegas. Y'all know, last time I went to Vegas, I was broke, I was hungry. This time I went down, make sure I was fresh, I had money in my pocket, I was clean, I'm rocking polo, like, I'm really doing my thing. So I had a vendetta with Vegas, so I made sure when I was there I was fresh. And plus it was my B-Day weekend. I wore the black and white one on my birthday. So I was real fresh and real sweat out of my B-Day. They didn't let me get into the club on my birthday because I had a tracksuit on, but I was like, all right, you don't want my money? All right, I go to the casino. Hit the casino and came up on like $1,600, $1,700. God, real. Getting into the Rule 21 pieces. You got this real deal shirt that reminds me of like Fast and the Furious. You got all the cars, you got the, light, the, the lightning bolt in the background. You got the smoke coming from behind the cars. Like, bro, this is a real deal. Like, this is a nice, nice shirt. I like this, I like it. just a nice graphic tee. I'm messing with that. And one of the good things is, it was only $19. All right, shout out to Rule 21, bro. This is only $19.99, like, shout out to Rule 21. This was only $19.99, like, this is a good shirt, like a good, a good graphic tee, like, bro, that's a great, that's a steal to me. This may be the only piece I have in the collection that's from uh, PacSun, but I did get this one here from PacSun. I thought the graphics was very nice, how you got the flames going, going around the basketball, going into the hoop, and then around, also on the back, you got Battleground, you got it that says New York City, where they says the Mecca of basketball, you got Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, with the lightning bolts going around. I have yet to wear this shirt yet, but this is gonna be a good, like, summertime fit. You wear this here with some short shorts. Not too short though. And then you got your Air Force Ones at the bottom. So you know I'm talking about those Air Force Ones. That'd be a real, real nice fit. So thought that, that caught my eye, so I had to get that. Back on the Rule 21 vibe. This is the first shirt I've ever worn that's gonna be like cut sleeves that I'm not playing sports in. So I'm gonna wear this right here, short sleeve. You got the Bronco. You got the neon orange. I thought, I thought this was just a real deal like well put together shirt. The, sh the short sleeves cut, so when I wear this here, it's gonna be like fresh out of the gym when I've been doing these here. When I've been getting my curls in, you feel I've been curling heavy and my arm is just cut up. Then I'm gonna throw these on and show my cuts. And what I'm gonna do when I wear this here, I'm gonna wear what I call um, the hillbilly wash jeans. It's like a hillbilly wash, you get what I'm saying? Let me show you. It's like, this wash of jean, like this color, this type of fade, that's like a hillbilly fade, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you watch the movies with the hillbillies and Dixie Highway and all of that stuff right there, man. You got, you see this. <laughs> hey, what I'm talking about, dog? You see this color of jeans right here, man. You see this kind of wash. You see this kind of fade. So I got this right here and I picked this up from Route 21 as well. Like this is Route 21 stuff. These, these pair of jeans, like a pair of jeans, bro. Like nice jeans was $29.99. Hey. 
Spend yours how you want to spend yours. Like, you know, I, I, I did the polo tracksuit. But the majority, I'm doing this right here. And what I learned from my uncle, dog, these are nice jeans, it's good. When you so fresh, you so clean, you got so many clothes, a lot of design, a lot of this, a lot of that. When you come outside, you've been doing this for so long, been so fresh. People, people don't know how you come in, don't know what you wear. They just know that, dog, you fresh. So if you worried about somebody don't, think, somebody don't think I'm wearing like a low brand, a low brand. If you wear a lot of good brands, nobody gonna really think that that's a low brand. But me personally, I can be wearing, bro, whatever, Walmart pants, these pants, that pants. Like, bro, I'm really like, I'm really blessed and I'm beyond thankful, so I ain't really worried. But I'm older, I come with maturity. I'm in my 30s, so that's how that go. And this shirt here was um, 20 bucks. So you got this right here. So you got that color right there. See that what I'm doing? And then you're gonna have this, this jean wash at the bottom of that. Like, going off the shine, it, I just gotta find the right shoes. I ain't really got, I thought I had the shoes, but it was a no-go. I thought I had them, but I didn't have them at all. So I'm not sure what shoes I'll do yet. I wouldn't really want to do forces, cause that's kind of easy, just throwing white with it, that's kind of easy. So I'm probably gonna wait until I get some shoes that got like that neon orange in it. You feel me? Or I probably can do my ones that got that gold in it, but I kinda, that, that'd be a scratch. Oh. I got this shirt right here from Forever 21. Like, I do a lot of shopping at like, you know, just the, the local, the local shops that's around the way, you got Rule 21, you got Forever 21, you got, I don't really do that, Pax, huh? yeah, I'm kind of falling off of them, but Rule 21 and Forever 21, you know, that's where it's at, like, you know, you get in there and you got to look for it, they got some nice graphic tees, and I like that vintage look, I like how they got the detail around the collar where it's kind of like ripped up a little bit, that's a little nice little added touch, you got the Corvette Speedster tee, that's real cool right there, this is a size, so medium large, not really sure, not too sure what the hell that means. Is it like a tweener or what's going on? Is you medium or large? But it's, it's a fit for me. And this costed um, 22 bucks. So that was cool. And what I got this for was, I got this. I'm just gonna mess up the waves. I got this for the, um, I got this for these. Like, you feel me? Like, I got this for these. Like, is it matching? Is this matching with this? Like, is, 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 that, is that matching? Like, no, is it matching? Well, if you got it, it's matching, man. If you got it, I'm matching like I am. I know it's not a perfect match, but it goes together. Like, I'm gonna wear this with this. I asked Jody, Jody said, yeah, I wouldn't, I would, I'm wearing this with this. I'm wearing this with this, dog, like. And is it a perfect match? Is it like, I, no, it, it, it's not, it's not. Okay, now what? No, it's not, now what? I, I'm wearing it, what's that? I'm really like, I'm getting old, I'm getting mature, dog. I'm not, bro, if you gotta look at this and look at the shirt and come back down and say, well, is that me? Yeah, I'm matching it. So I got this to go with that. If y'all think that's a good little shirt, good little fit for these, for these shoes, please let me know. If not, let me know why. If so, please let me know why. I appreciate the support. Put these up. Another Rule 21 pickup. This shirt was $17 as well. It's the um, Santa Barbara. Cruising classic. I thought this was a real deal. Nice, like little graphic tee. You got the motor cars in there. You got all that. That's very nice. I most likely wear this here with like some fresh Air Force Ones. And the pants I got to go with this was um, I got these pants right here. I got these Nike pants right here. And you got like the stuff on the bottom, this and that over there. You got the two stains on the back. Jody was saying like, yeah, that's a nice. These are nice pants, but. To go with this shirt, I feel like it's doing too much. I feel like that's perfect because the shirt is like doing a lot. They got a lot of stuff here, a lot of stuff there. And then you add this with stuff over here, stuff over there, stuff in the back. It goes together with some fresh Air Force Ones. Like, bro, like, you, you really just straight, you vibing, you chilling. Like, to me, like, that's a good look. Like, yeah, Jody said, nah, but I'm gonna be the one that's wearing it, so that's what I'm rocking with. This shirt right here, this shirt here came from Urban Outfitters. This is probably like thirty dollars. The shirt was like thirty. You got the Everglades. Is that what it says? Big Gator Glades tour. This is like um Everglade National Park. I saw that's like Florida. That's some Florida type of stuff with the Gators. I thought it was just like a nice little color of green. I, I like the fade, like the ashiness to it. Seemed like a vintage, a vintage type shirt. So I got that, and I got I came across these pants at Route Twenty One. So I'm gonna put this with this. These like cargo loose pants, got a few pockets on the side. 
and it has like a another pocket right here and it has like a loose bottom that you can like add that like pull that clip in and you can like tighten them up so I like this with this I feel like that's a nice thing you throw on green on green like that you got some two different variations of green and you throw some forces on nah and you fresh like you feel me you 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 fresh you good to me like now is it like all these colors like matching on point no 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 but are you clean are you fresh yes that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be going for for that day so I did that last two items I got these pants from uh, PacSun they super short like they dukes I wouldn't say they're super short though. they go they call it above the knee and they got a little message inside of the pants this wouldn't this wouldn't pertain to me but if anybody out there that may be on that If you want a second date, wear me on the first. So hey, do I want a second date? You heard what the pants said. This is a nice color here. It got it has that vintage gray. So I can wear this with any of my like vintage gray shirts, graphic tees, and then put the forces with that. That'd be a nice little complimentary piece. Very nice. Then lastly, I got another pair of cargo pants from Rue 21. And it has like a different little, you got this pocket, that pocket. That's right there with the gray and the black. That's right there with the gray and the gray. And then it also has the adjustable bottoms. To me, that these are like a pair of unique pants that you don't really see. You got this piece right here again. And then on, on the flip side, you got that. So I think that'd be real cool. Whatever I choose to wear that with, that'd be straight. And that's, um, that's the majority of my, not majority, that's all of my new pickups I've been shopping for, man. Y'all want to see some more of these clothing hauls? Let me know. You got any stores I should check out? Please let me know because I'm big on graphic tees. I'm big on vintage tees. I'm big on like just being fresh. Like I'm falling. Well, I've already fallen back from all the designer name brand stuff because every time you t not name brand designer because every time you turn around, it's like some headlines. They're doing this to kids. They're doing this with blackface. They're doing this with racism. This and that. I'm like, bro, I'm getting these folks top dollars in the head that they own that kind of stuff. So, but I know everybody got some, but. Shout out to Nike, shout out to Route 21. I, I DM Route 21, they DM me back. I hit up Paxson, who I've been spending bread with and making videos about. I ain't heard nothing back from them yet, you feel me? So I'm on Route 21, man, dog. Thank y'all for watching, I appreciate all the supporters, man. After all that talking, I need some water, man. <laughs>